Hello everyone, so today in this video I will show you how to connect an Arduino with an instrument cluster to enable some of the dash lights. So the particular cluster I'm using is from an Audi A4 99B9 model. Um, so this particular code that I'm using is from a person named Silas Parker. In the description below I will leave a link to his YouTube channel as well as to his website. Um, so I have used an Arduino Uno and a relay channel to enable the dash lights because uh, the bulbs on the cluster usually they need 12 volt supply and this Arduino output used to trigger these relays to actually activate the bulbs. This is a buck converter LM2596. This is used only to generate uh, 5 volts to power this relay. I have had some issues with the, the relay channel when I try to directly plug into the Arduino's 5 volt output. So when all the relays are powered, the voltage regulation in the Arduino gets affected and uh, sometimes some of the servos the stepper motors on the cluster may stop working so it's better to use an external uh, 5 volt supply or get a 12 volt Arduino channel connected to the 12 volt supply you are using for the cluster also. Right. So this is the particular Arduino code from Celeste Parker. So as you can see here, so the first then as for the speedometer, the second is for RPM, the remaining analog pins for the light. Um, the one that Silas Parker has used is for a servo motor and the ones from the clusters are just stepper. Anyway, I have had issues with this when I try to directly plug in and the needle is not really smooth. So because of that, I use the second Arduino to pull the speedometer, the tachometer, the fuel and the temperature outputs from SimHub. So I use this in parallel. So I have a second Arduino that's paired and I've coded it just for the as you can see here I have used an Arduino they have set up the speedometer, the fuel, the temperature, and the tachometer. You can also use an Arduino Nano and uh, use these functions there. One important thing is like you need to set this to never scan selected ports and select the, uh, the Arduino that you have you're using for the dash like if this is selected to all serial ports then you would have communication issues and the setup wouldn't work so you have to select the particular Arduino that you have set up for your dash lights and set it to never scan it should only connect with the Arduino that you're using for your speedometer and the gauges itself in this particular one so in this particular code it is better to use an Arduino Mega, you would be able to use all the dash lights using a Uno. You would be able to use a couple of lights, like six pins on it from A0 to A5. So I have used only five bulbs on my So you can assign this to two random pins. This is not very important. Speed of if you want RPM. Just set up your lights. I would leave. I will leave in the description a small link to the different lights that can be used. A small table containing that. So you need to go to this section, and you can copy this and paste it below, and make another one light that you want to add it. If it's like a high beam, you can add another one for high beam. All you need to do is like to copy this. 
Please do below. And just bring in this door. High beam. So same thing should be done here for the high beams. High beam, another one in digital right. We have to do that here also. The next one also the same way. And we need to go down. And over here also you need to do the same thing. But one important thing to be kept in mind is some of them are track lights and some are warning lights. So you should not mix these up by putting here and there. And there, are, there is a special value, value also for this. I believe in the table below so you can use that. And then you can save it and upload it to your offering app. So currently I have configured five lamps, the two side indicators, the low beam, the high beam, and the battery indicator lamp. The others I haven't connected yet um, because I have only a five channel Arduino relay at the moment and also I'm using an Arduino Uno. So I have only a few pins. It would be better to use the Arduino Mega if you want to use uh, more dash lights so i will show you well, i'm going to turn on the ignition electricity when i start the car the battery lamp should turn off this is for the low beams the high beams the turn indicators It's also possible to use the, the temperature, the oil and many other things. Um, I would actually prefer the other cluster that I have from the BMW E36. It's more easier to control the other lamps because in my case the oil and the temperature lamps uh, it's not that easy as the BMW E36. It's more easier to connect with actually. If you need a simple one, you can yeah go ahead with the Audi cluster. So today I will show you how to make a simple connection using Arduino for the dash indicators so this is behind the the cluster as you can see I have two Arduinos the first one at the top you can also use an Arduino Pro Mini or small Arduino uh, this is for uh, the, the gauges the speedometer, tachometer fuel and the temperature gauge you could also use it directly from this Arduino but, but I have had some issues it's the the servo motors are in very smooth so I actually use this a second one to connect with sim hub just for the servos and this second Arduino only for the dash lamps and here is the, the relays to power the lamps on the cluster so in the diagram I have actually shown only one uh, step down converter so one of them is an LM2569 to reduce the 12 volts that's been fed from the ATX power supply to 5 volts to power the relays you don't want to use the the 5 volts on the Arduino because whenever I use the, the 5 volt rails on the Arduino to power the relays some of the gauges do not work so it's better to use an external power supply so that you don't overload Arduino's voltage regulator there is another one also this is a boost converter so this is to boost the 
11.9 volts from the ATX power supply to 13.8 volts to simulate uh, similar to a car 